Hello, this is Lucas Palmeira from Imaginando and I'm here today to talk about BAM. BAM is a Groovebox style application ready for complete music production. It comes with sound engines, effects units, a mixer, various panels for MIDI clips and automation editing as well as a factory sound bank. This is the first in a series of video tutorials covering the features and functionality of BAM. In this video, we will be looking at BAM's interface, so let's get right into it. Here we have the BAM application window consisting of a main work area, two fixed toolbars, one across the top and one across the bottom. The main work area is also composed of three sections, starting with the device rack at top, the main panels in the middle and finally the performance area at the bottom. For the top section, we have the device rack. This contains the device chain for each track used to generate and process audio such as generators and effects processing devices. Here we have a trigger that controls behavior of some note properties, the modulators, envelope generator and low frequency oscillator modulation, the engine, the synthesis source generator of the tracks, effects, effects processing for the engines, two available per track, and the track mixer, single track mixer parameters. Here you can control parameters of the mixer just for this track. Then you have the middle section, main panels. The main panels area is where most of the work in BAM will be done. There are five different panels that can be accessed by the icons on the left side of BAM. Starting from the top, we have the matrix, a MIDI clip and scene launcher, the timeline, which is a step sequencer, the automations, which is a clip-based parameter step automation editor, the composer, which is a piano roll MIDI clip editor, and a mixer, a 16-track mixer plus a master and two sends and returns. On the bottom part of this section are all the BAM's number tracks and the master track M. You click any track to select it. We now go to the lower section or performance area. This is the performance area where you can find some extra settings and real-time performance tools such as keyboard and touchpads. There are 16 pads which trigger the default note of each track's engine and provide a visual representation of each track's audio in real time. To the right of these four toggle buttons each perform different actions when active. KBD switch to keyboard mode, we'll look into that in a second. Solo select tracks to solo, mute select tracks to mute, and arm select tracks to arm for recording. If you want to solo arm or mute multiple tracks you can use the shift button on desktop hold either of the computer's shift keys or double click to toggle on and off. And on iOS you can either tap and hold the shift button or double tap it to toggle on and off. The keyboard mode, KBD, when we click the KBD button in place of the pads we get this representation of a piano keyboard that we can use to play different notes for the currently selected track. Useful for creating simple click melodies. You can use the shift function to customize the display Drag left and right to move up and down the piano and drag vertically to zoom in and out. As you can see in keyboard mode the four toggle buttons change. TRK switch back to trackpads, OCT plus move up an octave or octave plus, octave minus or OCT minus move down an octave. Panic, stop all MIDI in selected track. Now let's look at the toolbars. Top toolbar. Starting at the top left, we have the main menu button which opens this slide out menu. First, we have profile for logging into your Imaginando account and activating product license. MIDI in standalone app only allows you to enable disable input and output MIDI devices for use with BAM. The settings, audio output device and audio input device, choose the input and output audio devices of your Mac to use with BAM. In Windows standalone app, instead you will have audio driver where you can choose between ASIO and WASAPI drivers. Generally, ASIO-based drivers will perform best. You next have sample rate, standalone app only, select sample rate. Buffer size, standalone app only, set audio buffer size. Windows scale, resize, scale the BAM interface. Useful when working with an UHD 4K resolution display. About, details about the currently installed app version, publisher and production credits. Help, a shortcut to open the BAM user manual in a web browser. Next we have MIDI Learn. This provides an easy way to map BAM controls to the connected MIDI devices. Click MIDI Learn to turn it on. 
and all mappable controls turn purple showing they are ready to map. Clock source standalone app only, choose between internal, external MIDI clock or Ableton link. Tempo, set project tempo and adjust the volume of the built-in metronome. Project, open project manager and load factory projects or locally saved projects. Plus icon, create new project. The desk icon, save current project to look at storage. Revert icon, revert all changes back to the last manual save point. Up icon, open previous project in the current bank. Down icon, open the next project in the current bank. Library icon, open the sample manager. We now go to the bottom toolbar. The bottom toolbar includes a range of different functions. Shift keys at the left and right edges are the shift buttons. They both perform exactly the same. Two shift buttons provide convenience for iPad users and also makes the visible state change of the button easier to see. DSP usage. This bar is the DSP usage meter showing the percentage of available DSP power that BAM is currently using. Show hide selection buttons. These two buttons are used to show hide BAM's top and lower sections respectively, increasing the available space for the main work area panels. When using BAM AUV3 plugin in an iOS OSTAL, the top and bottom sections cannot both be displayed at the same time. Expanding either section will automatically hide the other. Undo Redo buttons. Next are the Undo Redo arrow buttons. The left arrow is used to undo the last performed action and the right arrow is used to revert the previous undo. Transport Renable Automations. In the center group of buttons, we have a familiar play, stop and record buttons, followed by the Renable Automation button. This is used for reactivation of an existing step automation. When manual operation of parameters has temporarily overwritten the automation in current playing clips. Export Manager, MIDI Mapping Manager. The final three buttons access the Export Manager, the MIDI Mappings Manager, which we talked before in the Preferences menu. Preferences menu. General. Engine windows always on top. Toggles whether pop-up engine windows always render in front of the main BAM window. When this setting is disabled, clicking the main BAM window will bring it to the front and engine windows will render behind it. Open engine windows by default. When adding a new engine or changing the existing engine to a different type, if the setting is active, the main interface of the new engine window will always automatically open. Recording countdown. The number of counting bars before recording starts each time the record button is pressed. This is represented by the metronome playing the respective number of bars, with the first beat of each bar indicated by a higher pitch note. Always select master track when selecting mixer. When active, switching to the mixer panel will automatically select the master track. Auto add engine parameters to automations list. When active, Adding a new engine or reselecting the engine type will automatically add all its parameters to the automations panel list. Auto select tracks when pressing pads. When active, clicking any of the track pads automatically selects the track. Arm track on selection. When active, selecting any track number will automatically arm the selected track and unarm any other currently armed tracks. When used in combination with the auto select tracks when pressing pad setting, Clicking any trackpad will select and arm the track simultaneously. Autosave frequency enables autosaving of the project state based on a regular time interval of minutes, a choice of 1, 2, 5 or 10 minutes intervals, or disables autosave when set to off. Performance tab. Trigger quantization. The time period expressed in units bar at note length that triggering a clip or scene synchronizes the start of playback to sometimes referred to as onset timing correction of triggering. Recording quantization. When recording MIDI notes, they will automatically quantize snap to the closest note position to the specified note length division. When sent to off, no quantization is applied. Select clip on trigger. When active, triggering a clip will also select it. Select clips when a scene is triggered by follow action. When active, any scene triggered by a follow action will automatically select all of the scene's clips when playback of the scene commences. Change clip properties on beat time. When active, properties of the clip that can be changed on the timeline and automations panel 
wait for the next beat to take effect. And this is it for the interface of review. Hope it was useful and that you join us on the next chapter of this video manual.